you go. Did I change the brake? Let me get on the sidewalk here. Did it break? That's my question. The fuck? Good morning, my friends. This is a new segment that I like to call morning commute or morning thoughts, morning, morning coffee, morning, I don't know. But the idea here is uh, I'm not commuting to work. In fact, I work from home and I work from home. So there's no commute and um, it's 7.30ish, 7.40ish. I left my watch at home. I, mean, I do have to work in a little, I do get to work in a little bit. And um, yeah, the idea of this segment or activity is I've set a new goal for myself or desire in that each and every day I intend on doing something for me, doing something that I enjoy before I start to work. You know, I have a good job. It's not a dreadful job. I work at a really great company. So it's not like a, I'm suffering and therefore I need to do something to escape. But rather, given that we all or most of us lease our time out to a company, right? And we sell our time to them at an hourly rate or salary rate, whatever it may be. I find it very important that we also invest our time into ourselves. And I also find that I have generally a better day when I do something for me in the mornings, whether it's go for a walk or go for a ride in this case. So that's the intention here. Let's uh, fill up. I wasn't sure if I wanted to fill up because there's some maintenance I want to do and it's under the tank. Spark plugs, air filter, and coolant flush, which is kind of annoying in my bike. You need to take the gas tank off to do a coolant flush, but let's just run another tank through and then we'll be good. Gas prices are going up though. All right, guys, I'm hoping the settings are good, but with time, they'll get better. I'm gonna take you guys to Fun Road, but I guess my um, intent here was a little later than it ought to have been uh, in terms of traffic. There's a good amount of traffic already, which, um, it's the whole point of waking up early. Are they going straight? Are they turning? They are turning. My rear tire is feeling good. Uh, as some of you may know, I just got new tires. Got Michelin 2 CT or whatever sport tires, which I got those even though they're older model because of the dual compound design. I had Michelin Road Pilot 4s prior to these. They were great. They were fantastic. Um, I really like them actually. I do like to try new things. I also plan on tracking this baby coming months. So for that reason I wanted something a bit more aggressive. Now I'm like around 60 miles broken into these new tires so I feel and you can already feel them like the difference before when I would downshift aggressively without rev matching so to speak the rear tire would, would spin quite a lot and um, now it's pretty sticky especially in the morning now that I've been riding a little bit so let's see what we can do in terms of like leaning on these and seeing what kind of grip we're getting slowly building my confidence into these tires and yeah, if you're new to the channel, I'm going to ask you with all of my heart and admiration and love that you press the subscribe button. If you like bikes, this is the place to be. If you like someone talking to you, also the place to be. If you like cars, well, so do I. This is the place to be. So uh, yeah, welcome and thank you. And for those of you wondering, I am based in the Boston area, though not entirely for long. And if I didn't tell you that, you might have been able to tell by all these potholes. It's funny, I hear um, people complaining about potholes on uh, I-95 and um, in other parts of the country, say more down the south. Like, oh, you see the potholes, and I was like, what are you talking about? From what we were used to, it felt like a carpet comfortable carpet, so. Little uh, 
coffee for the morning. Super planted and connected there. break well my chain just came off that's fucking great let me get on the sidewalk here Mike still goes yeah <laughs> oh boy well this is great There's a song that goes, nobody's fault but mine, because I'm the one that put this chain on. Nobody and with the chain guard, this shit's going to be hot and nasty, right? Did it break? That's my question. No, it just slipped off. The fuck? Okay, that's extremely sketchy. <laughs> I 
think I got it back. It's mad loose. I don't know if the front sprocket came off. It's like, look. Is yelling at her daughter. Well, it looks like I popped it on, but um, sketchy. I think I can make it home like this. Am I recording still? Yes, I am. That is sketchy. And I, you know, truth be told, I saw it straight away, so I was gonna pop, try to do a little baby wheelie, and in doing that, came off. I'm glad it didn't break though. Okay, I can get in gear, and I can ride, so we're going to go very tamely back home, and I will tighten this chain, <laughs> holy shit, I put the rear wheel on myself, and that was the first time I ever put a wheel onto a bike, uh, and aligned it, so, um, I'm not going to pretend that I am a perfect mechanic, clearly I'm not. Jesus, there's so much slack. I can see it like wobbling. Yep, there it is. Super sketchy. Do your chain hang on? Do it one more than a fly. <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> Another thing too is that I know my sprockets are not the newest or in the greatest condition. It's hard to describe the feeling too because like, I don't know, ugh. And I think, oh my god. Neutral seems to help. Oh my gosh. Um, I feel like the other day I thought my clutch was slipping a bit. I don't know, I didn't, <laughs> these things only come about with like years of riding, right? Like these little microscopic just slightly doesn't feel right feelings like, oh boy <laughs> and um what i'm thinking it is that it was my chain and honestly i feel like it's loose i feel like it's like it's stretched because over time chains do stretch all right guys uh I'm home, I'm safe, I'm good. And to show you, I don't know how this happened. I think the chain stretched, to be honest with you, because I aligned the wheel like with this setting. And now, look at that gap. Like, look at that gap. There's no feasible way. Like, I was fine. I was running the bike fine. And it was super tight, the chain. Like, I don't know if I over tightened the chain. I don't think. I, I'm capable of doing that with like the force of my hand, but this was not the gap that was there. So I don't know if there's something with the locker washer, um, but this this gap is what caused this chain to be hella, hella loose. Look at that sag. So uh, I'm tightening it now. Um, this shit happens again. Gotta definitely just be really careful. But um, I might need a new chain, to be honest. I feel like the chain is stretching 
or I don't know. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it looks like it was that locker nut and that I may have neglected to tighten it all the way upon installing the wheel. I've since adjusted and measured a million times and really tightened down the locker nut on the chain adjuster. And uh, I feel good so far. Definitely, you know, taking it easy, but the bike seems to be running fine. Thank you so much for watching once again. If you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up. It means the world to me. And subscribe to stay tuned for what else we got for the channel. All right? Thanks again. Mm.